George, thank you. After the long, hot summer, your HVAC system may need some special attention. We've got Tony Duggan from One Hour Heating and Air. He's here with us this morning to explain what should be on your checklist before blasting that heat. All right, it is. It's getting to that point where some of us are going to want to start using our heat. What do we need to do first as far as, I think we would, you know, that you talk about replacing your air filters. Uh, that's right. Uh, some of the things that the homeowner can do before they need to call a professional in the home is to change their uh, air filters. Now, a lot of people are using pleated filters, uh, which we need to uh, look at every 30 days. Okay. They're very good for uh, pulling out the allergens in the air, so be sure to do that, plus using a good silicone to go around the doors and windows to keep that draft outside, so that's important too. Just something the homeowners can do. Also, let's get ready to change our batteries for our smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. They're very important to make sure we got new batteries for the winter. Now, there's some new uh, features to smoke detectors. You've got carbon monoxide detectors, detectors yeah. in here now, so it's mm -hmm. extremely important to get a good smoke detector with a carbon monoxide. And... Uh, also, your, your setback thermostats are available now. Now, it's good to have this set for the wintertime, so when mm -hmm. you leave the home, then you can let the, uh, the heat stay off, and then when you get home, it's nice and toasty when you, when you arrive. So very good features on the setback thermostats. Now, I want to get back to your filters, because you're saying every 30 days, I am in trouble if that's the case. Yes. Now, the packages say 90-day uh, filters, but we recommend checking them every 30 days because some homes are dirtier than others, so mm -hmm. we need to keep a check on them. A dirty filter will cause that furnace to operate at higher temperatures, so it will cut on and cut off prematurely. So we want to make sure we keep a clean filter in there and we get it changed. And also the carbon monoxide detectors. Now if you have a technician out, make sure that they're going to uh, check your furnace for carbon monoxide and we use a, a sensor like this okay. to, check, to check for carbon monoxide. Now if we find some readings, now what we will do, we'll use a video inspection system to okay. look inside that furnace to really see if there's a crack in the heat exchanger. Those micro cracks are very important to check mm -hmm. because the carbon monoxide, of course, is a silent killer. Oh, yes, I know. We've, we learn that all the time. Um, also, you know, you mentioned caulking. That's energy. I mean, that's money. Going out the windows out and doors. Out the window and door, literally. And that's something easy. Everybody can go to the hardware store, pick up a good silicone. Mm -hmm. It takes about an hour on a Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day today. Yeah. You can get it done today. You can head out there to your stores and do that if you don't have anything else going on. And what is this I'm looking at here? Now, this is part of the probe for the uh, video inspection system. This is actually, mm -hmm. we stick this inside the system okay. so we can look at the heat exchangers and examine those heat exchangers. If your system is getting about 10 years old, mm -hmm. you need to have that heat exchanger checked every year. It's very important because once you get a crack in it, we recommend to replace the furnace on the inside. So it's mm -hmm. very important to get, make sure you, you have a monitor and then you have somebody to check it for you at least once a year for your furnace system. Okay, and we don't want to keep anything around your furnace. That's yeah, a lot of times people some, tend to not clean up or they want to pile everything in the laundry room or that. Right around the furnace is a nice mm -hmm. area we can use for storage to yeah. stick that broom inside <laughs> there. Be. I know. But please, you know, remove those combustible uh, materials out. Mm -hmm. uh, it hurts the furnace. It could catch fire. It could have some hazards to it. So just clean that around the furnace and make sure there's no debris in there, uh, you know, for the system to operate properly for you. All right. And also, you know, if you also might want to think about getting a tune-up. Yes, we recommend systems uh, in the springtime and, of course, in the fall to have your tune-up done, to go through it and make sure it's ready to go. Uh, a good tune-up uh, twice a year will really save you money and actually pays for itself as you do them. Yeah, of course. All right, well, I want to thank you so much for bringing all of this stuff out here with you and informing us because... You know, it is that time, right? It is that time. It feels good outside. It's fall. Let's get it checked up and be mm -hmm. safe. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. You're watching Good Morning Augusta, your only choice for local weekend morning news right here in the CSRA. We'll be back after a quick break. But first, take a look at that lovely weather on the Jiffy Loop Skyview Network. Wonderful sunrise. We'll be right back.